Hey guys, welcome back to OSPF Packet. I am super excited to be back with you. I'm feeling like extra pumped right now. Uh, we just got done recording the latest episode in the Never Ending Jesus podcast, and so you should definitely check that out. I'll have a link for that in the description. But today in this video, we are going to be diving into layer two, tracing a MAC address through a large layer two network. You'd be really surprised, I think, maybe not, maybe you're watching this thinking, uh, my network is layer two, pretty large. We, we aren't layer three to the closet yet. And it's a daunting task to get to layer three to the closet. And if you're in a consultant role or anything like that, you're gonna be going into networks all the time that probably are not layer three to the closet. So it is very important to be able to learn and know how to trace devices through a large layer two network. And that is what we are going to do today. I was blown away on a couple of interviews uh, that we were having to look to see who to hire to bring in. And one of my go-to questions to ask on an interview is around layer two and seeing if people understand how MAC addresses are put and stored in the table and how they correlate to layer three addresses on an SVI or, or a sub interface. So I, I always ask the question, if you have a problem on a network and it's with this device and you have an IP address, um, but it's a large layer two network, how do you figure out where they are? Maybe you have um, a shared VLAN across an entire large building, multiple, like multiple VLANs or mul multiple closets with one VLAN. And uh, you, you just need to figure out which closet that device might be connected in. So that's what we're going to do. Um, check out the screen I've got here. This is the topology that I built. My SVI's uh, interface VLAN 10, 20, and 30 live on these two devices and they're doing HSRP. Um, I've got a VPC 10, 11 down here that's on VLAN 10. I've got VLAN, a VPC 13 here that's on VLAN 20. And I've got VPC 12 down here that's through a daisy chained network, maybe a closet that's connected to a closet that they had another closet connected to. Perhaps they didn't have the budget to uh, home run these back to the distribution layer. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to trace out uh, I'm going to trace out VPC 11, VPC 13, and VPC 12 right now. So let's check this out. My SVIs are on one, one and two. Switch one and two. So we're going to go to switch one first and show IP ARP to see what we've got. And it looks like I've got the SVI, uh, the HSRP device, this device, uh, three doesn't show up on there, so let's get it in here real quick, just for VLAN 10 for demonstration purposes. Three, um, it should come back, there it is, and now our ARP request has three in it as well. That's the HSRP, uh, HSRP neighbor. So 10, I've got dot 10 on each one is the, is the PC. So great, they've got a layer three address and I can ping each of these addresses from the gateway. There's now VLAN 20, here's VLAN 10, and here's VLAN 30. So I have reachability to all of these devices and that's great, but I'm I, need, I don't have a good documented network. I haven't used CDP Neighbor from the last video to map out my network topology, and I, so I just don't have that stuff yet. But I do have um, this topology. I've got some IP addresses, and I, a user calls in and says they're having an issue, and their IP address is 155.1.10.10. And I'm like, okay, well, I can work with that. And because I have the tools in front of me to be able to trace that out and figure out which switch that lives on, then we can figure out what closet they're in and get somebody dispatched to that closet to take a look at the issue they might be having. So I'm going to, I've got my show ARP here. 
So I ARP uh, connects a layer two and a layer three address together. Layer three being the IP address, layer two being the MAC address. It connects those together. So my IP address is 155.1.10.10 .10 and his MAC address is 0050-7966-680B. You can see that here. So I am going to, I need to figure out what the next physical layer two hop is for that. In order to do that, I'm going to do a show Mac address table, and I'm just going to do address, and I'm going to paste that address in, hit enter. And I find out here that that Mac address for VLAN 10 was dynamically learned on Ethernet 01. So if we go back to our topology, Ethernet 01 means it was learned on this. So it came into the switch, that frame came into the switch on this port. So if I go through that port to the next top, I can be guaranteed that from there, I will see that MAC address on this switch and it will tell me which port it learned it from. So let's check that out. This is switch three that we're going to. So if I flip over to switch three, and I show Mac address table address and paste in my Mac address, which I don't have copied anymore. Uh, let me go copy that again. Um, paste that in. We will see that, that VLAN 10, the Mac address was dynamically learned on Ethernet 02. So we can go back to our topology and we see that Ethernet 02 connects down to switch 5. Now, if we don't have a topology, sorry about that, if we don't have the topology mapped out in front of us on a diagram, this is where we can use the skills we learned in the last video, CDP Neighbor, to see that. So if I come back to my switch and I'm like, well, I don't have a topology in front of me, I don't know what's on the other end of Ethernet 02. I can use my CDP neighbor command. Uh, Ethernet 02 to find out that. Oh look, and I haven't named these, so this is going to be this isn't going to be useful. But this would be the um, host name of that next hop device for all our purposes. So you can actually use CDP neighbor with a, and if you drop the detail on the end of the CDP neighbor command and enter it'll give you a lot more information here and you can see um, that the switch and typically you would have a management address on a switch so that you can get to it um, that's not the case here so I don't have a switch that I can I don't have an IP address that I can jump into but you would see an IP address listed here for this for this guy so um actually hold that thought i'm going to build this out and i'm going to put ip ip addresses on these so that you can see this <laughs> we're back let's do this um I have my MAC address here and I needed to see where he was came from so I did my show MAC address table address and I pasted in the MAC address that we're discussing here that's 680B and uh, I have, don't have it in here anymore so we need to ping that to get him active in the table again. There he is in the table. Okay, so now he's in the table. He's learned off of Ethernet 01. So now if we do our show CDP neighbor, Ethernet 01, and we add the detail on the end, we will see the switch that he's connected to and a corresponding IP address. So uh, that's assuming there is a management IP or a VLAN that you're using management on for those devices. So. In this case, I've coded, I've put them all so that we can trace out the MAC address here without looking at our topology to cheat. So I'm going to use this uh, 
the last octet of the IP address is the router number that we're going to. So from switch one, we can see that it's learned on router three. So we can take our MAC address, copy it down because I lost it in my clipboard. Copy it, go to switch three, show MAC address table address and paste in our, um, our MAC address. And we see there's our MAC address on VLAN 10 dynamically learned off of ethernet 02. So if I show MAC, uh, or yeah, so I've got our MAC address table. So show CDP neighbor, um, ethernet 02 detail, we'll see that that was learned off of switch five. So now we can go to switch five. We'll copy our MAC address again and go to switch five. And here we're going to do show MAC address table uh, address and paste our MAC address in just like we've been doing. I uh, double copied it here. Um, or I double pasted it here. Put that in and we see that it was learned on VLAN 10 of Ethernet 02. So now if we do a show CDP neighbor Ethernet 02 detail, we see that we're. Um, the next hop is eight. So we go to eight and do the same same song and dance. Show MAC address table address and we paste in our MAC address that we had here. We we'll see that it's learned on VLAN 10. There's the MAC address dynamically learned on Ethernet 01. So now if we do our show CDP neighbor, Ethernet 0 one detail oh there's no cdp neighbor entry i wonder that's interesting well if we do a show interface status look at that ethernet 01 is an access port on vlan 10 and that is magically where our device is connected switch 8 ethernet 01 on vlan 10 and if we look at our topology sure enough switch 8 ethernet 01 there it is so that's how we connected down to that guy. So let's look at VLAN. Let's go to our VLAN 20 guy and let's uh, do him off of the other, off of the other uh, HSRP switch that has the SVI on it. Show IP ARP. It uh, looks like here's our here's our ten for VLAN 20. So I'm going to take this MAC address. Show MAC address table address. Paste it in. Oh, it's not learned. It's not there yet, or it hasn't been learned on it. So in order to force it to learn it, we're going to ping the address. Um, that's so that it puts the MAC address in the table or it learns it somewhere. We ping it, and now it's in our table. It's learned off of Ethernet 00. Now, this is going to be interesting. I believe 00, uh, if we do our show CDP neighbor, Ethernet 0, 0 detail, it's going to be off of dot 2. Now you think that's dot 2, but because I've got HSRP going here, I did dot 1 as the VIP, and dot 2 is switch 1, and dot 3 is uh, switch 2. But that's because this is being giving it to you off of VLAN 20, not the management VLAN that I had created. Because um, you can actually see, I think if we scroll through this, yeah. So that's where that's where that's coming from, um, or why it's being seen that way. But so this means that it's learning it off of switch one. So that means that switch one is the HSRP active unit. It's active there, so the the packet in the path is going up here, and it's not going directly to switch two. It's going over to switch one. And then because that's where the VIP is for dot for the VLAN. So it's going up to switch one and being learned off of Ethernet 00 on our topology. But we can trace we can trace that out. Um, or we know that it's going from switch two to switch one. So let's get our MAC address. Here's our MAC address. We'll go to switch one. Show MAC address table address and paste in our MAC address. Learning off Ethernet 01. We see that that's the one going to switch three, which we can show CDP neighbor, uh, 
Ethernet 01 detail and we'll see that that's switch 3 here. So we're going to go to switch 3 and oh, I want to get my MAC address first. Go to switch 3. Show MAC address, address tape, address table, address, paste it in. We're learning it off of 03 and show CDP neighbor Ethernet 03 detail to get my next IP address. My next time is switch 6. I need to get my um, MAC address in my clipboard and go to switch 6. Show. MAC address table address paste in my MAC address it's learned off of Ethernet 01 show CDP neighbor Ethernet 01 detail no entries show interface status sure enough Ethernet 01 is VLAN 20 and on our topology there it is and it works the same way with the topology all the way through. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna grab the MAC address for this PC and from the SVI on switch one and trace it seven through ten and we will call it a day for this. So show um, IP ARP to see the layer three to layer two connection. Here is my MAC address there. I'm going to go ahead and ping that address just because we've seen it not show up. So there I have reachability and we're going to go to switch 7 in our topology and trace it through here. So paste our MAC address in. It's learned on Ethernet 01. Show CDP neighbor Ethernet 01. Uh, we need the detail keyword to get our IP address. So it's going to 9. From nine, oh, we're not figuring it. <laughs> Show um, MAC address table address, and we need to go to seven, get our MAC address again. From here, paste it on. We see it's on that, on Ethernet 01. Show CDP neighbor, interface, or Ethernet 0 one detail for the IP go to switch 10 show Mac address table address we're gonna go back to 9 to get our Mac address which is here paste it in show CDP neighbor Ethernet 01 no entry show interface status there's our port 01 on VLAN 30. So that's, I know that's quick and a lot of work, a lot of words, a lot of jumping around, a lot of screen switching around, but that is essentially how you understand that in this topology, the frame that comes out of VPC 12 comes out and goes into switch 10 and is learned from Ethernet 01 and flooded out the trunks and VLAN 10 and VLAN 30 in this case. So it's flooded out a trunk up 00, zero and it's learned on switch 9 from this interface 01, learned on switch 7 from 01, learned on switch 4 from 03. It's then forwarded over to switch 1 on and it's learned there on 02. So this just shows that you can understand how MAC address frames are learned on different switches throughout a large layer 2 topology and it shows that you have uh, the ability to go in, poke around, use some very simple commands and map out a topology and figure out where devices are connected so that you might be able to direct uh, a technician to the right closet to be able to give support to an end user. So I've always found this very helpful and useful. I've been surprised by the number of people that don't necessarily know what this is or how to do this or even understand really that MAC addresses and frames are learned on layer two for different interfaces. So super helpful. I hope it's helpful to you. It's been helpful to me. If this video has been helpful to you and, and, and you've enjoyed it, please uh, subscribe, 
uh, like it, give me a comment, let me know how I could do better. Hope you like the new uh, the new digs. It looks great in here. Super huge shout out to Jacob Tanner for the fantastic uh, inspiration to make this thing happen. So I'm, I'm extremely pumped and excited about this and I hope that uh, you stay tuned for more content in the future. Thanks. Bye.